A big celebration surrounded a new ship today. And after hours of preparation... It only took seconds for the future USS Billings to splash into the water. It's an investment in our own security, and I think it's a good one. The latest littoral combat ship tops Fox 11 News at 9. The future USS Billings entered the Menominee River for the first time today. Yes, it did. The ship currently known as the LCS-15 will be the first U.S. Navy ship to bear the name of Montana's largest cities. Fox 11's Pafua Yang was at Marinette Marine for this morning's launch. It's a momentous occasion for the future USS Billings, finally honored, celebrated, and christened. Um, walking up the podium to break that bottle of champagne and looking up at that ship, I'm going, I won't see this again. And so I just kind of soaked it in. Ship sponsor Charla Tester was humbled and honored to take part in the traditional christening. Her husband, John Tester, named the ship in honor of the patriotic and hardworking citizens of Billings, Montana. I'm not just a sponsor, I'm an advocate for that ship and all who sail in her. One of those sailing will be Commander Nathan Rowan. The ship is designed for mine countermeasure operations. Rowan says there will be two crews on the vessel, each having roughly 75 sailors. We'll be doing mine hunting in the uh, fifth, fifth fleet area of operations, mine hunting, in uh, hopes that uh, we plow the way for our other warships that, are, that will be over there um, conducting operations. The future USS Billings is part of the 355 ships the U.S. Navy is working to get. But it's an investment in our own security, and I think it's a good one to make. Congressman Mike Gallagher applauds the work being done by the shipbuilder, indicating it's getting better at a lower cost and in a quicker timeline. That's what we need to do in Congress, is we need to rebuild the military more broadly, and we have a unique window in time to do that. This particular ship is uh, perfectly suited to some of our emerging challenges in the world. Senator T Baldwin wants to continue fighting to keep the LCS program running strong. How incredibly important they are for our national security, our state's economy, and, um, you know, a tribute to the naval men and women. Future USS Billings is 83% done. It's going to take about a year and a half of construction before joining the Navy fleet. In Marinette, Pafuying, Fox 11.